What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So in this episode we're still at war with the sort of Franco-West German alliance in Europe and we really need to start uh, clearing out some of these uh, these other armies behind our lines. So first of all we're going to attack this French army here near Paris with our Paris garrison. Then we're also going to hit this French army here and try and drive them east because Strasbourg is the golden that's the, that's the golden ticket right there. If we take that, France disappears. And I'm curious to see what happens in the Americas, but we've also got um, an awful lot of um, German units to deal with. I mean, we've done a lot of damage to them already, um, but more damage is better. But first of all, we're going to attack this French army that's got a quite an interesting roster, a lot of quite elite infantry, but they are going to be civ they are civilian outnumbered and technologically inferior. So let's destroy them. Yeah, so we need to invest a lot of money in securing Western Europe, chiefly because now our money situation is, while it's good, it, it would be stretched if I then had to fight against Austria right now. That would be that would be a problem. I'd very much like to eliminate France and her German allies, or even make peace with her German allies. It's chiefly France I want to take care of. So let's put my artillery up here on a hill. They have no artillery, so they will be forced to engage us. So let's make a more conventional line, because now I've spread out... Now I've actually... Uh, actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to advance. Well, I'm going to advance a bit. So my Guardia de Corps, central to help, and my German Cressier on the left. General in the centre. Oh, it says we've now got quick climb, so just open fire. So I want this line to advance. I want you guys to get inside the house. I want my foot core foot guards to be ready. I want my Swiss pikes out on the right as well. I want this line to run. My German cavalry advance, because we could do a lot of damage to those lances I, mean, I might put my this infantry out wide if I can get my guerrillas inside the house that will act as a oh, just a minute sorry I was, my button my buttons too obscured by my pop filter okay, here they come so you men get your volley off. Drop into square. Okay, no, you guys get back. We destroyed their cavalry with artillery fire. You guys engage the horse grenadier guards. You guys engage the Royal Bavière. You guys engage the horse grenadier guards there, because they can really pick apart your cavalry. Charge my pikes in. They got my foot guard ready to deal with enemy cavalry charges or, or to help any help support any potential against a potential cavalry attacks because obviously these guys are all they're sword armed so my gorillas up here are going to be doing some good job doing some good damage against the DuPont regiment 153rd are already 153rd already out here the horse grenadier guards have dismounted so that's nice to see so let's retarget one unit of artillery to better attack the fusiliers. You, t these two units can pivot. There you go. These guys on limber, one on limber. Get out of square formation. Get back in line. There we go. The core of taking them out. You men, get out of formation and line up. You can provide fire onto the twelfth regiment. Guardia de Corps. Get them on an end around run. You men chase down the Grenadier Guards. That would be a valuable enemy kill. How it says attack the Fusiliers, because it looks like they're actually quite upset at being fired upon. So you men advance. 
Once this regiment of foot opens fire, that should help even the odds somewhat once they've reloaded. Come on, kill the Grenadier Guards before we don't, don't have to run too far to kill them. You're on horses. Let's get my general out here as well, because I don't think the 12th are going to be here for too long. I mean, they look great. The Royal DuPont Regiment, they look fabulous. I think. However, things are not going to go well for them. Two, there you go, two horse grenadier guards. They're, they're, they're a good unit to kill because horse grenadier guards, they're not my favourite unit, but they are sturdy. They are very sturdy. So I should have howitzers also engaging the fusiliers. Get our cavalry on the charge. We'll get our cavalry out here. Including my general. Who are you? Duanya Infantry. Regiment of Foot. Charge the Fusiliers. Cease fire with all my artillery. Cease fire on the firing line. You men cease fire too. There we go. Oh no, there's one unit remains. It's only that Duan unit. Do I. Oh, fusiliers are. No, get out of the way. Run away. Break off the attack. Look, I'm right clicking away from them. What more do you want? Feel the artillery engage the general's bodyguard. Yeah, see, the fusers now want a piece of it. They want the fight. Yeah, deselect Swiss pikes. Run up. You guys attack them. Feel all my horse artillery. My well, my artillery attack the general's body bodyguards. You hit the twenty fifth regiment of foot. They're not going to like that very much. Where's the DuPont infantry? That's the one I want to get. The Royal DuPont. Grenadiers, Swiss Guard, Royal Bavier. There they are. I do, I really want them. Oh, I almost accidentally clipped end battle. No sir, not end battle. Halt. You guys wind, you guys clear them up. Too, too bad about these fellows, they're going to spend a long time clearing up the fusiliers and not really be able to help. Yeah, you guys clear out the 27th. There's a unit right here, but I do want you to take out that unit. The Royal Dupont Regiment, because that's a unit they will not be able to recruit any longer. Well, likely not be able to recruit because it's Probably in our territory. Ooh, Swiss Guard, please, for three three troops to kill. Let's get one of them. Let's get them. No, don't just walk. Run. With luck, you can get both of them. So they're attacking the Dupont. Let's focus on here. Because you could this my general's bodyguard could get both of those units, which would, would be quite the coup. You guys might want to kill these fusiliers. Capital. Get them to run right over to the Dupont, because these guys are going to either rout or be killed. They're going to rout. Yeah, one guy got away. And let's speed up time, because everyone's charging down this infantry regiment, which fortunately got to the... The edge of the map then decided, nah, we can't run that way. There's cavalry over there. Then they realised there's cavalry everywhere. It's only three. Three infantrymen left. There we go. Delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. So that's chewed up. Pretty much their entire force. Oh my god. Yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? 
means you don't need much replenishment at all to be up and up and about ready for fighting next turn. So you're here ready to support Brussels, because Brussels has had a few good scraps, but they're surrounded by weak troops now. So you're replenishing still. You need to strike east against the troops in the seminary. Fortunately, this army is of much lesser quality. They've got a couple of good units, but they've got a good chunk of their troops and militia. So that's quite useful for us. So Diogo Coronado, let's engage the French. Because if we engage the French, that will at the very least give us access to more territories that are uh, financially worthwhile, including Paris. Paris is worthwhile. Paris is very worthwhile. So, 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 so. Okay, terrain's pretty good. It's just the just the field artillery at the moment, which means we're going to have quite a significant um, infantry fight. So let's create two good blank companies to push around. A pike unit in the centre. Let's put one Swiss pikes on one flank, plus cavalry. Regiment of Horse on the other flank. General is going to get involved. There we go. So let's begin. Let's begin to trundle up. Although it does look like they want to fall back. That's their prerogative. Quite sure where they want to fall back to. But don't bother focusing on their artillery. Just hit their troops. Just don't worry about the artillery specifically, because we're gonna advance to a we're gonna advance sufficiently that it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, so I, I initially ran, but now I'm going to walk walk these men up to the front line. I'm going to run these pikes because they're not in the right position. There we go. This militia realises they can't actually run away from us. They are going to be engaged. The artillery is just causing absolute havoc inside this frantically scrambling pocket of men. So they are gendarmerie, so my regiment of horse will have a great time against them. Cuirassier, not so much, but that is why I have pikemen. Just keep bombarding the centre. So if I commit my cavalry into the fight, that will draw in their cavalry and my pikemen can annihilate them. You men continue the flank. Let's get some of our cavalry in to deal with the militia. My general will follow the flank companies in. The gendarmerie are gone. My regiment of horse run away. Let's draw in my pikes. You guys pivot. We'll position yourself slightly differently. Provincial cavalry attack the militia. General's bodyguard charge the blunderbuss shotgunners that are caught in the open. They are only light infantry.
retarget the artillery, so I'm pretty sure my cavalry is going to have a great time. That's yeah, another unit of cuirassier dealt with. Dealt with. Horse Grenadier Guards, it says they're winning decisively, but what they're going to witness is things are not going to go the way they planned. Demon are going to push through the town, kill a few more militia, but they're shattered. So let's get our cavalry back around the flank. You guys can continue to kill the Blunderbuss Shotgunners. You guys may as well charge the Pikemen if they're not going to... Not the Pikemen horse grenadier guards if they're not going to let us go. Nope, never mind. Okay, get some cavalry to charge those other blunderbuss shotgunners that have emerged on the... in the town. They don't... they didn't like that. Fusilier's getting ready for our arrival. Advance this flank up. You men fall back. Don't fall in. Don't fall for their spike trick. They have dug in as they have dug in. That's, those are two quite big defensive pockets. Yeah, it's a French Cressier unit. All my artillery engage. Advance my pikes up because these carabiner are still trying to be scallywags. Cavalry, go away. Start to try to close up the pocket. Who are you? Horse Grenadier Guards came back. So let's charge them with our regiment of horse. They're likely to get a volley off. My pikes can try and intercept the cuirassier. There we go. You guys clear them out. So the Horse Grenadier Guards will do... They will do some good damage to my regiment of horse. Just because they are good cavalry, but a regiment of horse should be okay. And we're running, we're manoeuvring at close range. A, because I'm okay with it, and B, we've actually got well, just bombard the bombard the units in the middle with our artillery. Yeah, didn't expect you were going to fight on. Cavalry is going to be what breaks first, but yeah, everyone else is going to be slaughtered by encircled fire by rank. So you men mar charge on into the blunderbuss shotgunners. Where's my general? Let's run him down here. Although the blunderbuss shotgunners aren't my primary target. There we go, my regiment of horse is tipping the balance. But they're not going to have any real way to escape. Regiment La Sarre is dead. Regiment La Rienne is going to die. They've escaped from the artillery fire for so long. No, I'd rather like my cuirassier to attack the cur my cur my um, pikes to kill the cuirassier, then to go charge the horse grenadier guards, then my cavalry to come in and start to mop up some of these routing units. So my artillery can cease fire. You guys ch charge the Swiss Guard. There you go, the Dragoons have broken. Damn right we're going to continue. The French can't recruit many, many troops. 
from Strasbourg, so the more we take out now, the fewer that can regroup and attack us. Go on. Kill a few more. Two, two troops left here at Bulkley's Reg Bulk regiments. You can take care of them. And go on attack the regiment La Rien. You attack the regiment Lassar. You guys are doing a good job against the the Swiss there. Come on, knock out those troops. Ah, he's over there. Get him. Don't stop, you mad fools. There we go. Yeah, let's help our infantry units knock out the units that are still on the field now. The general should hopefully knock out these fusiliers. There we go. Let's knock out this last infantry unit. There we go. Decisive victory. Send them running back to Strasbourg with a tail between their legs. Two and a half thousand men lost. Good. So this army might need a bit of bit more replenishing. And they're still within budget. Cool. But yeah, you're okay. Let's knock down. Let's cancel repairing and upgrading these buildings because you're going to raid. Felix is going to be man on point with wiping you out. Everywhere else, just hold. Just hold until relieved. Hold until relieved. Um, yeah, you're recruiting a horse. Field Marshal of Europe, so let's try and get some... Get a unit of Wallian Guards. Two Grenadieros de Marina. Regiment in, in Memorio del Rey. Let's get... One Wallian line to... Balance the Walloon Guard. I mean, you've even got another level of a level level of military building, so that could be quite cool. Okay, I think it might be time to build some Irish regiment because we've been holding off. Well, they can only build one. Do we run out of money? Okay, so you fourth rates. Actually, well, I'm doing this backwards. You guys go join the fourth rate to the north. There we go. It's a pity we're at war with Russia. That's why I hope I'm hoping every so often I can just go, yeah, chill out. And this is why I'm glad I don't have any territories here, because otherwise they'd be taking us through this border as well. I don't want that. Okay, in terms of tech. You're going far in advance for the infantry training level. That's quite handy. You're going on to secular humanism. You're going on to power loom. Power loom is going to be a very powerful tech. Up in the Americas, I think we are largely done. I mean, you can try. I can try and spend whatever few coppers I've got replenishing a couple of units there. That's not bad. Let's hit ten. My agents on the move. Uh, I'm going to intercept with this army because it will draw in the big army and that should wipe them out. Ha <laughs> ha! The fools! You're going to take Eroquois territory because it's right there. The French are on the move again. Here comes the French Navy. They're going to deploy that army in a frustrating position. Ah, okay. Yeah. Fight him. My galleons will see him off. Well, that one ship won't. I mean, they've got so few guns, they can't even reliably take him out. And that's actually... Well, we've only got three guns there. Well, I think that's guns. Might be men. Either way. Yeah, feel free to, feel free to try and attack us. Well, they're pushing towards Boston. That's a bit spooky. Uh, it's uh, just a bunch of militia. No. <laughs> Come at us with more militia if you like. Yeah, right now, the Austrians are, are bubbling. They're simmering. They've got no one to fight, and they don't know what to do. Ah, the Ottomans stole a trade spot from me. 
I think I need to match the Russian build-up a bit better than I am currently doing. Because right now I'm just going, eh, recruit some infantry, that's okay. Don't do it, Sweden. Okay, there goes, okay, Louisianans can have the Bahamas. They can have the Bahamas for now. As long as they don't attack the main body of troops in the north. That's the main issue. If they're going to push on Amsterdam, that's okay. They've not really got the strength to oppose me either. So you men combine. Okay, now we can do some replenishing. You can keep your seminary. So, we've now got the, the enemy on the right side of the wall. On the right side of the the river. So let's get a craft workshop. You need to replenish, but you might actually put Alsace under siege, because that would... I mean, it might draw the Württembergs into battle. But what I can do is I can put you guys into Paris. And you guys can hold it. We're still recruiting a bunch of good infantry. You can march out to better fight them. You guys... Said you're, you're in a good spot, you guys. You're in a good spot. If they're going to try and attack us, or raid us, then we will draw them into battle. That'll bring in these guys and these guys, maybe. And the bigger problem is... Well, this is this is just a frustration. It's not a problem, it's a frustration. Ilbert Belcher, I don't remember you. So these men are on the way to Boston, but Boston is A is fortified, we'll get a bit of a garrison, and they've only got two infantry units. So if they attack Boston, then they'll just get repelled anyway. You men can pretty much run up to Fort Nashville, demand they give up. And then you guys can pretty much just start nailing it back. Repair the governor's residence. We can build new roads. We can destroy the church school because we don't need it. Repair this. Don't build the f new port because they'll just knock it down. You guys replenish a bit more properly. Yeah, just another militia army. If they want to fight me with just a load of militia, that'd be great. These troops. To be honest, you guys could run this side of that army and fight them back to the right side of the river. Back you go. You then go back to Boston, which means you guys can actually nail it towards... Do you even go for Quebec? Could be an option. We've got to keep these, keep the offensive going. So what do you need? Well, I could give you some colonial light cavalry to help with the destruction of the enemy, because Quebec is not fortified and is not building walls at all. Boston is be becoming... Well, they've got a seminary, so I might move my agent. Although you're pretty bad... You don't like the people in the Americas at all, so you're actually doing nothing. London, we've built a new barracks. So Paris, we can afford to actually... Well, no, we can't afford it. <laughs> so you're going to get down here ready in case the Austrians kick off. Diego is going to position here. You are going to position there. You're going to position ready for the offensive against Strasbourg. Because you're okay. Paris is safe. Then in Straits of Madagascar, my little raiding fleet, just wipe out that little French snot gobbler. Bring him into, bring him into our service. That would, that's what will actually uh, upset them the most. 
get back raiding. So then a little stack of galleons here can go onto this position. 16,000 through trade. Actually, we're losing some imports or exports through from the Americas, but that's okay. Um, minor nations. New Spain. Hostile? Why do you not like it's just dishonouring treaties? I'm going to offer you improved grenades. Don't do it, Sweden. You got nothing to live for. You got nothing at all. Uh, two more turns to have to pick new texts. Oops, sorry, I accidentally minimised my screen. Okay, workers on strike in the Iroquois territory. That's that's okay. I was kind of expecting not to keep it, to be honest. Let's hit end turn. I mean, if the French decide they're not going to take it, then then what the hell are they doing, you know? Oh, the French are... The French are gathering all armies to him. Okay, so the... The French are attacking, and are we going to fight them? Damn right we are, because we've got some pretty elite infantry. And, to be honest, they, they're actually going to mash... They're actually going to swarm the walls, and we've got not necessarily the best army for that. But, so we might be making our own breach to um, allow the militia to swarm in. They have zero artillery of their own. So there's a risk of all that militia, they might actually be able to overpower us. So we are... We are going to want to set up our own artillery... Set up our artillery inside the walls and destroy a section of the wall to allow them to enter without assaulting the, uh, the walls themselves. Yes, we have one already. Aha, we do. Excellent. So. They have no artillery, so we know they have to come in here. Good. So let's put some units on the walls, because we don't want to abandon them completely. But we're not, we're not that bothered about having them. Because we would like... We would like some uh, spiky goodness. There we go. So let's do one like that. One like that. So a few of them will get through. You guys cease fire. We can deploy one howitzer here whose job is just going to pepper that breach and another that's going to be in the centre to fire any which way but loose. The Royal Spanish Guard are going to be in here, behind trenches. Actually, to be honest, I should probably just deploy the... I should probably just deploy the the pikemen up here in, to do the stake stuff. I mean, there's going to be some gaps, but that's okay. You're okay doing that there. Our cavalry is our cavalry. Let's make sure our conquistadors are fire it well off. We've got a grenadier de marina who are going to deploy a, some stakes there. So that means you guys can shuffle slightly to the right. Good. And you guys are not doing anything, but maybe if I deploy you right at the back. Just keep. Yes, yeah, delicious quick lime. Yeah, we want some men on the walls so they don't get any bright ideas. But we also want them to. We also want them to attack the, the breach. So let's see what they do. I mean, you're a beautiful quick lime target, so it'd probably be stupid not to go for you. So I want to get ready. 
see when these guys are ready to fire and then pop up. Boom, boom, boom. Up over the house. Oh, God. Cough. Yeah. Yeah, they've realised there's a hole in the wall because the gates aren't open. You guys will fight well off as well. Make sure all my elite infantry are on guard mode on. So who's this? Colonial Light. And the General's Bodyguard is trying to charge people on the walls here. They'll work it out sooner or later. And hopefully these men will realise there are guys in within musket range. So here comes this... Oh, no, wait. No, no, they've changed their mind. They want their... Do you want the 8th light horse to be in first? Okay, they're forming a little silly line. I see. There we go, they've realised the error of their ways. That's right, Musketeros, you guys are ready. You guys should be pouring fire down off of the fire step onto the enemy cavalry. Potentially not that cavalry unit, but whatever. Are you guys all going to clump together? Delicious. There we go. If we all charge in together, we've got a better chance. And you go, okay, I understand the logic. Nope, they've just they've changed their mind. Yeah, those guys are actually they're getting into position in front of the walls. They're making a little breach. The enemy general's been killed. Oh, it's the canister shots coming going off. Go on then, where are you going to charge? Yeah, where are you going to go? Sixth light horse, the eighth light horse. Oh, so we should be some get some good kills up there. I mean, these guys might even run out of ammo eventually. Oh, here comes another cavalry unit, the sixth light horse. They're confident. They're steady. Canister shot comes in. Now they're not quite so sure. And they're broken. And you guys are going to be the first cavalrymen to die on spikes. And there's a couple there. Shattered. Broken. Delightful. Here come the native musketman auxiliary. Good, they're actually now starting to send real troops in, although the sick light horse have realised the error of their ways and they figure they could actually try and get in. Yeah, just keep attacking their infantry. So here comes the native irregulars. Musketmen irregulars, no less, as the canister shot comes in. Yeah, the volley fire starts to bite. Nope, that's them done. And they're shattered, so they're not coming back again. You men are obviously also pouring fire. See, those men have got... They've got um, cl grapple climbing equipment on the walls, but it's still not enough. So you attack the first regiment out wide, you guys attack the general's bodyguard there. Yeah, there goes... God, this is going to be a slaughter. A real slaughter. Not that I'm complaining. But it's just... just they're just feeding men into my little killing zone. Like, look, the 56th regiment of foot, colonial line. And nope. Nope, nope, nope. These militia might actually try and scale the walls. That would be a turn up for the books. 
Because ordinarily what happens is they run up and they go, should we attack? And then they go, nah, let's, let's actually go and run inside the gate. Usually that's the case. Like that. They've thrown thrown hooks up. Okay, one of you guys have to, you guys has to go after that militia unit there. Let's run a grenadier unit up to here. So it looks like their uh, their AI is starting to work out that maybe just charging in isn't gonna help. Hey, they're actually charging militia at the wall. It's too bad those guys are bugged. Well, they're going to be particularly bugged now, once the, now the militia are up here, because they're, now they're going to really not want to garrison the fire step. Oh no, there we go. Keep the howitzers open enough at these remaining troops. I mean, it's looking like. Look like a bit of a slaughter, and the enemy is realizing they don't actually want any part of it. Because how many men are you? You've only lost 40, 40 men, and they've lost, you know, 100. So let's get our grenadiers up here as well. I'm hoping that those auxiliary men there will it will perish due to quick climb fire because it looks like they're actually just gonna relocate so you guys are gonna fire at the general general which is good you men get involved against the militia up on the wall there we go they've realized they don't want any part of that so keep the grenadiers away. I mean, it does look like they've decided they don't really want to... They don't really want to do it anymore. So I'm going to speed up time. I mean, I can definitely understand them not wanting to do it anymore, but... Gotta come in sometime. I mean, they are they're starting to just combine all their troops. I think they are actually just going to go, no, we're going to sit out here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the... I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back when uh, something develops. I'll see you in a second, everyone. Okie dokie. So it looks like they are actually now starting to starting to push up. So we've got lots of cavalry coming in, which will be nice. Nice and delicious for my howitzers. So we've got one set of guns attacking these guys who look like they're kind of stuck and I got one set of guns attacking the troops as they come in because you guys are gonna man the they're gonna try scale the walls hey you are no not anymore are these guys are gonna try it there we go the militia that were stuck outside the walls have now cleared off there we go. So you men attack the 40th regiment. Oh, and their cavalry has decided, nah, don't want to come back. It's like, fine. They're going to watch another um, block of men be doomed to die. <laughs> and then decide, nah, she. Okay, now they can. Okay, they're coming back again. So you guys get over here. Take position on the wall. Because I want you to at least fire your cannons. Those guys have obviously been cleaned out. They really can't make up their mind what they want to do. So you guys... Keep firing. I mean, I, I presume at some point they're just going to run out of troops. They do have... An artillery unit. But they're, they are bugged. They are not firing. I mean, the 90th are 
I mean, they're not going to last very long under that barrage of quicklime fire, plus being attacked by the 75th from the walls. Nope. And then the 100th are likely to call time on that as well. So now you guys... Can you hit anything with a round shot? No, uh, he could maybe attack them, but... No, I don't, I, I don't think the AI's really got it in him to push the attack anymore. So what we're going to do is let our... How it just kill them. Let's stop our artillery from attacking, and now it's time to deploy the cavalry. Because they are mostly cavalry, although they are actually looking like they're going to edge towards us. Well, it's just militia and a tiny amount of cavalry, so they're not actually that strong. So I will stop playing and playing on increased time once I've. Once my cavalry's out of the wall, out out of the fortress walls. There we go. Yeah. You hit the seventy fifth. That's, that's a hell of a miss. But we've got light cavalry, general's bodyguard, light cavalry, light cavalry, dragoons on foot, light cavalry, light cavalry, and a cannon. Are they now going to fire at our? No. Nope, oh, they're bugged. The 75th are upset because they're being fired upon by the wall. Ooh, land another volley of quick climb in, please. Ah, too bad. Cease fire. Push the cavalry in. I don't think they want I don't think they're gonna suicide their cavalry into the into the fort. So we have to charge our cavalry into them. Conquistador's up front. Hussar's behind. I want these guys to devote to fire off a devastating blow. Well, you could maybe ch chase the militia. Carbines ready. Volley. Oh, yeah, I turned fire at Will off too early. go. So our Curacier are going to be our heavy hitters. Our Conquistador are, are, are our heavy hitters. If you want to play silly buggers, don't worry. We don't want to keep our... We don't want to, our um, Hussars to fight alone. We have the cavalry advantage, so let's use it. I don't want to... I don't want to squander my hussars from being under attack. From fighting in a, in a poor engagement. Kill the 11th light horse. You guys kill them. Let's take these hussars. Engage these colonial dragoons. Stop them from firing into the battle. Let's keep our conquistadors engaged in this action while getting our hussars on to fight against a dismounted enemy and then going on to kill the general's bodyguard and then that last unit of guns. Go conquistadors. 
clean out the cavalry. Because bear in mind, my conquistadors are, you know, they're armoured. They're really armoured. So their defence is real good. Enemy cavalry, not so much. Okay, let's send you chase down the demi cannons. You chase down the general. Oh, doesn't matter. Hurrah! Hurrah! So, that is the enemy force. Oh god, dismembered. Bye bye. Do you want to try that again? I'm surprised they've not gone for that territory there, but I suppose they know that it's going to rebel anyway, so they don't want it. Yeah, Austria is getting their ships deployed overseas as well. Sneaky little Ottomans is. Hmm. They want to push, and it looks like they, they, they're going to slowly. I mean, they've. A mm, couple of units. Do I want to with. Do I want to intercept that? I think I, I definitely do want to intercept that, because we've got some real good artillery, and we will knock them back pretty conclusively. So we're in, it's us on the field that's doing that, not the the fort. The fort is well. That, the reason why they're put, they're advancing through the hills is so they can't they don't get intercepted by the fort. But the fort is close enough to us that we will they will be available as reinforcements if we need them. So we're going to be fighting this bit of a stalemate against the Russians probably for for a while until we make good progress in Central well, in Western Europe. Yeah, not great artillery position, artillery terrain, artillery wise. So I'm going to position to the right. I've taken all of the elite infantry there. So let's do two line and two elites. Two line two elites. They're going to deploy on the left flank. We're going to keep a artillery team spare. And then we've also got these guys that can redeploy as necessary. And my howitzers just let them just fire at will. Cover in either flank. Got an interesting warehouse building there. Okay, so the enemy reinforcements are coming in from over there. So I think I'd like my artillery up on this hill. This line deploy like so. Let's take two units and deploy them along this flank here. Let's take these three units and again keep them as a bit bit of a reserve. So in terms of quick climb. Ah, okay, no, no, no. I did it again where I've managed to click all. Quick climb. You attack the fusiliers on the flank. You guys attack that unit of line infantry. No, you guys got involved in the attack as well. No, I want you up here firing across and down onto the enemy artillery positions there. So let's get our cavalry down in the woods. You guys are all on fire at will. If I can get these guys... Oh, they're going to be stuck there for a while because they'd be bugged. Try and hit the 50th with canister shot. Maybe you guys might actually push up to be a bit more... Like this. To be in a bit more, more of a commanding position on the ridge. Deploy two units over there as reserves, one unit on the right flank as reserves. Fire it will off. Mm 
Those guys are stuck. Use a laser deployed stakes to negate or reduce our forward mobility. You guys engage the 18th because that's the better position for you to fire on. There goes the 50th. So we've lost. We've lost this unit because they've got stuck. So let's try retreat. What happens there? Nothing. Yeah. So they managed to get themselves stuck, which is lovely. Okay, you guys get out of that formation there. So who are you? Oh, you're just a regulars. So let's advance you guys up. My cavalry to go to route through the town. It's the field marshal of Europe. You done messed up, son. I think Russia, I think they're trying a bit of an old charge Rooney. So you men push up like that. You men push up the face down the irregulars. Got some militia on the. F oh, what the hell? This is getting out of hand now. You men just blast the centre of your line. Quick climb. Okay, you guys try hit that unit, the 49th. You guys try hit that unit, the 38th. I want to try and repel the, the these irregulars with musket fire. And you're not going to be not successful in engaging those guys, I'm sure. Pouring volley fire in. I don't know how successful it's going to be, but we do have a, a commanding position on the flank. Those are grenadiers. They've made it into the line. These men... You guys throw yourselves in here. The horse artillery... Have not abandoned their guns. I mean, it doesn't look like they will either. There we go. You men form the line. I mean, they've charged us with fusiliers inside. That's a bit silly. My heavy cavalry to fight the militia. Quick climb the ground in front of where the militia are coming in. I don't think... Well, these fusiliers aren't going to be in the combat for very long. Actually, you, know, you guys do want to stay like this because you guys do want to fire into their backs. You don't want to fight them in melee combat. There we go. Let's turn this flank in our favour. Pouring fire into the enemy positions there. Let's get the cavalry to nail it into our positions here. Maybe you guys smash into the Pandora. And you guys can pivot around and surround a regiment of foot. We've got a general's bodyguard there that's isolated. You're fighting the militia here. The enemy units don't look like they're going to be sticking around for very long. You've charged the Pandora, but just run straight through now. You guys burn at charge that infantry unit. You guys burn straight through here. We're repelling the reinforcements. Good, we're quick climbing them. You guys smack straight into the back of the 41st. The infantry unit's been shattered. 
accuracy is in. Bang. There we go. The, line, the fuse layers are gone. The line infantry guards have gone. There we go. General route. Curassier are doing a good job against the militia. New men pivot to face the new enemy. These two weak units here advance, maintaining their strength. You guys pivot to face the irregulars. Two is probably too many, but may as well keep them together. Pivot this line again here. The heavy cavalry. So they've really held the line against the militia unit. Three pound of horse artillery advancing, weirdly. Curious about how many more reserves they've got to come in though. Human fire at will. I, I, don't, I don't know how many reinforcements they've got to come in. Once, the, once this heavy cavalry's done the damage to the Streltsy militia, they're going to push down and attack the uh, the light horse. Actually, no, the, the infantry guards might attack the light horse artillery. You men advance up to the ridge. Okay, now they are coming in. Okay. So we don't want to go mad. So. There we go. I mean, you guys just go get them now before they fire off any annoying quick climb attacks. Let's just drop, start dropping quick climb on the axis of advance. Line infantry guards fall back. General, fall back. We don't need you. There you go. You've pushed back. Ah, Grenadier Guards, what are you doing over there? Get back where you were. Okay. So we've got obviously we've got no useful artillery, because it's 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 stuck and the useful artillery we had is routed. What have we got? Guard musketeers. The 8th Foot Guards, 7th Grenadier Regiment, 11th Grenadier Regiment, 20th Grenadier Regiment. They've got plenty of Grenadiers. For this unit, the 15th Foot Guards. There we go. Good climb starting to do its noble work. Two good units of line infantry, which are awesome. Quick climb coming in. Yeah, the eight foot guards have just been annihilated before they can even make it to the field. And then the 15 foot guards are, they've just made it to the line and they're incredibly upset. You men can't even be trusted to get around the flanks. You hack the Simonievsky foot guards, you guys attack the 11th Grenadier Regiment, because these fellas are not going to be around for very long. There we go. Make sure we are using our line to maybe try and get some good flanking shots off on them. There you go, my men should be mostly re reloaded by now. So the 8th foot guards. Are they fresh? They are fresh. So they've joined the battle and cut down to 29 men, 27 men, and then just gone, nah. 31st and the 32nd are running, but they've got a long way to run. So don't accidentally shift-click, don't shift-click. Run, just run straight over here. 
Not that we really need them. Okay. Militia, warband, warband, irregulars. Yeah. Focus on attacking these heavier units. To do that extra damage. But this unit was already in this in this state. Yeah, we're going to get some shots off against the 15th foot guards, but they've got a lot of firepower to put out. Fire at will, Grenadiers. Everyone you shoot before combat is one you haven't got to stab with your muskets. Poor, poor Grenadier Guards. Alright. You guys charge down the Irregulars. Between them, these two... The, this line should have the Militia sorted out. Yeah, there we go. So they've... Let's charge my Heavy Cavalry into the mix. You guys chop out the Irregulars. Got more Irregulars coming in. Push up the line. Can you guys fight? No, you, you guys can. The Grenadier Guards might actually fall because of the the fire from the um, Warband is too it's done too does too much damage to them and it impacts their morale too significantly. Let's see if you can kill the general. I don't think so, but The intention is we need to spin our blanks around a bit more. Let's get my cuirassier out of there. Let you guys tear the warband a new one. Okay, you guys fall back. I don't know if... The, well, they might be charging. I don't know. Inset them. Yeah, they are charging. But take our more... I was about to say more intact units. They aren't intact. But let's advance the line up. You guys are doing good damage. Let's push up you guys. I don't think there's any more to come. Get a drop in quick climb just about here. Yeah, the warband are upset. Okay, there we go. So now the now we can really curve our blank around and go no 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 no. There we go. So the irregulars are charging because my cavalry is routing. So they they. They decided they liked the taste of blood. They liked the melee fight. Uh, it's quick, uh, straight, okay. Round shot that unit of irregulars. You guys quick climb the infantry there. Most of these other units are, I mean, they're down for the count. Like they're sat there very proud because they're, they feel they're just steady because they're winning. But uh, yeah, no, these guys are fully loaded. Yeah, there they go. And suddenly they weren't winning quite so well. Nope, they did not like that. Oh, you're going to be fighting the General's bodyguard. What if you can take him out? Is he still here? Yeah, there he is. Nope. He's broken and he's exhausted. 16th Regiment are done for. Try 
drop quick climb on these units. I mean, I don't expect any of the Russian army is going to want to stick around for too long. General came back temporarily, but let's crank a little bit of speed on this because they're just going to fall back. Yeah, there we go. So that was a that was messier than I would have liked. Um, but that's not bad. That's two Russian armies chewed up, and back they go. Okay, looks like they want to try and do it again in in greater numbers. Okay, so let's send... Yeah! Join us. So Sweden's landing their army on Hispaniola. Obviously, so we've lost Nassau. But because we have a ship in port, they can't ever get us out. I mean, I'm sorry, Sweden. I'm going to get you. The, the new Spaniards beat the French down in that landed near that landed in um, New Spain. Okay, I need to give the new Spaniards a present. I, mean, I want to keep them on side. I'm surprised we didn't get a chance to intercept there. Oh, it's probably because they were squaring up for the attack. So attacking us from all fronts, but we've got plenty of troops to knock them out. So they have, they did sit back to replenish and regain their strength, but we can repel them once more, and we can draw the French in again one last time. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for another defense of Brussels. Cheers, everyone.